it is another dimension. A dimension of sound. A dimension of sight. A dimension of mind. You're moving into a land of both shadow and substance, of things and ideas you've just crossed over into the Retro Zone. could pretty much double as a music video um, but it does some really fun things so right off the bat um, you know I really enjoyed the tip of the hat to Rod Serling and I thought that's all I was gonna get but uh, no we, I was just uh, bombarded with a slew of other pop culture and movie references which I just loved I thought it was all delightful and it's all uh, in this overarching sort of narrative of uh, liberating an alien cadaver which I mean hey that's always fun um, so yeah this whole video is actually a lot of fun it's definitely worth checking out um, and it's kind of catchy I it's cool. absolutely love nice shoes that music video referencing all of the uh, classic um, the iconic and classic uh, sci-fi uh, shows <laughs> um tv and movie both uh, really really creative and uh and i just really enjoyed it kind of an homage to some of the great sci-fi themed movies of all time and uh the music's fun and the characterizations are are really done well and it's a walk down memory road so congrats to the uh filmmakers they made a lot of fun um, being a child of the 80s i really love this uh this film um, you know, it was kind of a mix between Beastie Boys, you know, alternative music videos from the 80s. Um, you even had the the uh, MTV start page with the uh, Spaceman and all that. I thought it was great. Um, you know, it just brought back a lot of memories. Just the way things were done, um, the, uh, you know, kind of like stiff running that he was doing and things like that. I thought it was... Um, exceptional the way that they they put it together and made it really have that 80s feel um so it was a great job guys i really enjoyed it i loved this um using the opening from twilight zone which was definitely a tv show that i used to watch with my dad all the time um i thought really worked to kind of set the theme of like sci-fi and a throwback or sci-fi and retro like right out of the gate um and being able to see so many version like so many of like their own versions to different sci-fi like classic sci-fi movies and tv shows and everything i was literally sitting here watching it seeing how many of the references i could get and it made me realize how much of a nerd i am but also like all of those things for me personally hold such great memories because they were things that I watched when I was younger or I watched them like for the first time with like my brother or with my dad and um just that it was so fun I thought that the music was really fun I thought the concept of the music video was really fun um I thoroughly enjoyed this uh, you know this one's just like a really fun little love letter to everybody's favorite um all right, I'm gonna I'm gonna say the filmmakers' favorite like sci-fi movies and and everything from like the last hundred years, and so it was great. It was nice to see like all these like visual references. Yeah, it was it it kind of just kept your attention while you were watching, and the the music really works well with it. And yeah, this was just like a fun, solid little uh, music video. Nice shoes. We don't want to skip it now. It was really, really funny. And so many references condensed in such a short period of time. And the guy just singing like in the retro 80s, uh, amazingly done. Loved it. This is definitely one of the most eccentric music videos I've ever seen. There was a lot going on, but it was still well done. And I noticed all the cool pop culture references um i thought it was well made i thought it was a cool storyline and nice acting i liked the music and i was dancing with them at the end and my favorite line was but it doesn't matter because you got nice shoes <laughs>